So once you hook this up via USB to your computer mm -hmm. and you have the necessary... Uh, My name is Afosa Ojamo. I am the District Sales Manager for National Instruments here in Wisconsin. The day-to-day -day responsibilities of my job uh, have me uh, go into different companies and speak with engineers uh, to figure out the best way to test their products. I'm very fortunate to have this job. Um, the pay is very good and more importantly I work for a very good company. Um, as a child growing up in Nigeria, I never thought I'd have this level of success. I was born in Nigeria in 1983 and I lived there till I was 16, uh, till I moved to the United States to attend college. Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa. Um, the population of Nigeria is about 150 million people. Uh, it's very densely populated, uh, extreme poverty, and uh, basic necessities were not available um, to the general population. Uh, so things like uh, clean water, infrastructure uh, for sanitation, uh, plumbing, uh, were really not available. Uh, it's not uncommon um, for the average citizen uh, during the dry season to spend uh, half a day uh, walking to fetch water. That's the context in which I grew up in Nigeria. When I found out that I got accepted um, to college in the United States with a scholarship and I got a visa, I was very excited. Uh, in fact, to me, that was my ticket to success. Uh, most people don't get the opportunity uh, to come to the United States, and the perception of the United States is that once you get here, you're automatically going to be successful. So I landed this great job after I graduated, and um, I was going to be getting paid a lot of money, and I wanted to define myself with success. And success to me meant uh, having the best of everything. I wanted to purchase a luxury car at 23. I wanted to decorate my house and make it like a miniature MTV Cribs. Um, I wanted the best designer clothes, uh, tailored suits. Um, those were um, the ways that I defined success, and those were the things I was going after. I didn't really see anything wrong with it. I thought it was perfectly fine. Um, to be prosperous as a Christ follower, um, and to get all these things even at, even at a very young age. At this point in my life, I found out that a lot of the joy that I was seeking, um, I was trying to get from just getting more and more material things. Um, but it wasn't really ever complete. Uh, there was something missing there. And no matter how much I got, no matter how many nice clothes I had, or how many gadgets I purchased, um, it could never really fill that void that was missing. I remember one night when I was reading a book about poverty in Africa, and I read about a 10-year-old girl who had to wake up every day at three o'clock and walk miles and fetch firewood, take to the market, and sell so she could fend for her family. And I thought about all the success that I had at such a young age. Um, and it was about this time that God was really tugging on my heart. I felt like he was calling me to do something about the situation of extreme poverty. At this point in my life, I was really gonna turn my success to significance. I didn't care anymore about amassing material wealth and material things. Um, I wanted to start working for the things that God cared about. God really transformed my heart and I became heavily involved in my local church in Madison. Um, I started working with the high school ministry and that has led me to mentoring a couple of high school young men and uh, the men are seniors now and they're looking at applying to college and I'm just walking with these men has really um, helped me in my growth and helped them as well. And one of the other things I do to grow in my faith is attend the Men's No Regrets Conference. Uh, just to be able to fellowship and worship with thousands of men in the same place and attend sessions that are geared towards men and how we can become better stewards and better followers of Christ uh, really helps me with my walk with God. I believe that I'm in the battle right now fighting the good fight of faith. And 
God transformed my heart to do that, and if He could do it for me, I believe He could do it for you. I encourage you men um, to start fighting the good fight of faith. For me, I'm taking that fight back to Nigeria. A couple of years ago, some friends and I started an organization called Poverty Stops Here. Poverty Stops Here goes into communities that are living in extreme poverty and provides access to clean water, sanitation, and microloans so that people in those communities can start and expand their businesses. Uh, those are the very specific things that Poverty Stops Here is doing uh, so that we can improve the standard of living in these communities in Nigeria. Today, we're providing everyday water so that people in these communities could sustain their lives. Our hope is to provide spiritual living water so that they could be exposed to eternal life that could only be attained through the gospel of Jesus Christ.